Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando here, and welcome back to Spyro 2. Last time, we went to Metropolis, and although we did not meet Ratchet and Clank, we did save the city nonetheless. And today, well, this is it. As I go up these steps, we're gonna take on Ripto, and get rid of him, and pretty much save Avalar from his tyranny. Now, I gotta reopen his door again, but... Alright, Spyro! Alright, yeah, we've heard this before. Alright, let's get the rest of these gems. Winter Tundra is now complete. Alright, Ripto. Here I come. Ripto. Hey, Shorty! Yeah, Shorty. Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Alright, Ripto. Let's do it. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Alright, Ripto has an awesome battle theme going on here. Now, Ripto is going to shoot fireballs at you. Ah! I was gonna say, if you can beat Ripto without taking damage, you can get a skill point, but it looks like that's not gonna happen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. You don't Ripto, you do not want Ripto picking up the orbs, because he will get power-ups from them as well. Now, if you get the green orbs, you can shoot this explosive green blast stuff. Now, if you can get red orbs, which... I, I, I need sheep. Okay, if Ripto gets three, like I said, he gets a power-up of his own. So in this case, he got all green. He's just going to circle around and shoot gas that you need to dodge. Now, if he gets all three red orbs, he just shoots, like, fiery shockwaves. Now, if you get all three red orbs, you can use Super Flame, basically. But if you get all blue orbs, uh, you can supercharge. As much as I like green, I really don't want to... <gasps> oh. Oh, we got him. Now, Ripto is going to summon a robotic version of Gulp. Oh yeah, if Ripto gets all three blue orbs, he'll chase you with an electrical barrier. Now, this part is a little tougher. Because, much like the Gulp of old, Gulp will still try to body slam you and everything. I think. And also, Gulp will try to eat the orbs as well. And if Gulp gets all... Bleh, red orbs, he'll um, shoot a fiery creature that'll follow you. You can trick it into hitting him, though. If he eats all green orbs, he'll shoot lasers from his eyes. And if he shoots, and if he gets all three blue orbs... No! Uh-oh. I hate this move, it's hard to dodge. I thought it was hard to dodge, but apparently it's not. There's an orb. Oh. Okay, I'll let you get away with that one. Hunter, come on, toss me more orbs. Uh oh. I think 
gulp might body slam you? I don't know. Because right now, Ripto's just shooting fireballs at me. Alright. Time to end your Ripto. Alright. Robotic Gulp will now blow up, and Hunter, if you watch him, is in a bad situation. But these golden orbs are left behind, and Ripto uses one to summon a robotic Pterodactyl. Now, once you pick one up on the other. Oh, and Ripto is uh, gonna destroy the battlefield. It's a cool effect with the lava oozing in like that. Alright, this is it. Much like from Metropolis, you have a combination of flying and super flame. All you gotta do is just shoot Ripto from here. However, he is kind of hard to shoot, and he will shoot magic that can sort of home on to you, and... This is it. If you die, if you die once fighting Ripto, you gotta do this whole phase all over again. Fighting him since the beginning. And he does get a little faster to chase his Pterodactyl down. Alright, now Ripto's just gonna come charging in at me with magic ready to shoot at me. Alright, I think one more shot will do it. Goodbye, Ripto, and he'll sink into the lava with his Pradactyl. Ripto defeated. With the magic of the guidebook, with the power crystal combined, Winter Tundra's castle has been restored. It's the gang. I don't think we can ever thank you enough, Spyro. Oh. Suppose you have to go now. Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Worlds, and I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. Hmm. I most certainly do not. Hunter? <laughs> Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks! Sparks, can you grab him? That's a big payoff. Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. Yes, we have a lot of vacationing to do. Well, that's it everyone. That's That was Spyro 2 for you. And much like the first game, you know, you got this music playing and going through all the levels you've been through. And, you know, I don't know what to say this time around compared to when I did Spyro 1 but like I said I never had Spyro 2 at first when I was growing up because I didn't know about it Dan Johnson because I never knew about Spyro 2's existence originally and then when I finally Ted Price head of Insomniac Games when I finally learned of Spyro 2's existence it's making me facepalm myself of me missing a good time that I could have played this on the PlayStation 1 when I was a kid and you know, still, compared to Spyro 1, 2, and 3, I think I'm personally still going to love 3 more because, you know, usually the sequels are better than the previous games. So yeah, uh, something I wanted to say during that fight with Ripto is uh, Ripto's name, uh, his Japanese name at least, because their names are similar in Japan. Like, Spyro, I think, is pronounced Spirit Spirito in Japan, or... Spyreto, you know, something like that. You know, they both Ripto and Spyro's Japanese name have the same amount of katana. You know, Japanese letter symboling. 
and that's why they're personally arch enemies like Ripto only appeared once in this game, but for some reason, ever since he would appear again in like Spyro Season of Ice and enter the Dragonfly, he for some reason becomes Spyro's personal enemy. But it makes sense at least, because they're connected in a way. Hi. Just getting the towels? Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I can say about Spyro 2 at the moment, it's just, I mean, you know, I got through this game rather nicely if I'd say so myself. And uh, I, I, I'm running out of things I really want to say, but, you know, if I could compare this to Spiral 1, personally, it, it was a little better than Spiral 1, although I still like Spiral 1's format. The minigame thing is really what would turn Spyro into what he is and who he is before he was taken over for Skylanders, godforsaken Sky. Uh, that's something I'm going to get across right now. If you're expecting me to Let's Play Skylanders, that ain't happening. As much as I like Spyro, I'm never going to play or Let's Play Skylanders. I'm just at least happy that Spyro's still getting attention in some way, but just not in the right way, really. I mean, I will Let's Play The Legend of Spyro Trilogy when the time comes, because I love The Legend of Spyro Trilogy. Music, Stuart Copeland, once again, great music from you. Charles, I talked about you back in Crash 2. Spyro is voiced by Tom Kenny, of course. Wait, where are the other voice actors? I thought the other voice actors were supposed to come up. Milton James, I don't know what he did. Or Markle Tilbert. Melissa Disney, she does a lore, and she is related to Disney. Walt Disney himself. I think he's like, she's like, um... Well, she's a descendant, thanks to the staff of Universal Studio. Extra special thanks, da, da da Yeah. I don't know how they were able to get someone with the last name of Disney to do a Spyro game, but... Still, it's amazing that they did it. Dragon Shores. Um, eh, no, I'm going to make this its own separate video, so I'm going to end the episode here, though. So thank you for watching this episode of Spyro 2. We pretty much beat the game because there's no alternative ending or anything. So, yeah. Join me next time as we do our vacation in Dragon's Shores. That is it, and I'll see you guys next time.